Hey guys, welcome back to The Ken Woven Home. My name is Shara, and today we are finally going to be revealing the entryway and the staircase of this house. When you first walk into our home, you're greeted with this amazing staircase. Now, it's a little bit like American Horror Story when it was all dark, which I know this house is not haunted, praise the Lord. No haunting here. However, I love light and bright, and I feel like my space really affects my mood and honestly, my positivity. If I'm in a really dark cave-like space all day, I tend to not feel quite as bubbly and airy and happy. So I really wanted to transform this room specifically. So I'm excited to reveal that to you guys and show you kind of the process in which we took this space from start to finish. And yes, I will share the paint colors because I know all y'all are wondering and want to know. That's probably gonna be the most asked question. But my question for you is, is there just one room that you're like, man, if I could only get my hands on that room, if I had the budget for it or whatever, I would love to get that room redone because it would be so life-giving. Leave me the answer to that question in the comments below and let's get started with today's video. Okay, before we jump into today's video, I do wanna give you guys a little bit of a life update and things that have been going on on my end. As you guys know, about two years ago, my mom, my husband, and I all joined forces and we created a brand called Kinwoven. The number one reason we started Kinwoven is because we wanted to gather our resources, put all of us together so that we could create more resources for you guys, more ways to help you with your home and making your home beautiful. We have been so blown away and so honestly blessed and just touched that we have so many friends around the world in so many countries. The downside to that is there are so many of you and so few of us. And so over the last few years, we've realized as much as we wanna help every single person, we haven't had a way to do that. My mom and I have been reading through the comments, we've been reading through DMs, we've been reading through our emails, and we have learned a couple of things. And that's what I wanna share with you today. We learned that you guys feel stuck. You feel like your space is maybe too hopeless to really transform it into something that you're gonna love. You feel overwhelmed with your ability to make it beautiful. You feel like it's gonna be so expensive, you don't have the budget to do it, you can't afford it. We also learned that you guys want the help. You want to learn how to make your spaces beautiful. And you do believe in our belief as Kinwoven that a beautiful home can change your life and you're willing to do the work. But you do need a little bit of help getting over that hump. You need some encouragement, you need some direction, and you need the tips and the inspiration to feel confident to carry it through on your own. And we wanted to find a way that we could take all of our expertise and we could create an easy to follow eight step process that we call the Kinwoven way that we could teach you guys, that we could teach you specifically about how, where to start when it comes to renovating a space, redecorating, sprucing it up. We wanna sit down one-to-one -one with you guys in a way that we've never done before and be able to help you from start to finish with an eight-step process. It's easy to follow, it's not overwhelming. How do we communicate that the best way possible? Well, I'm excited to share that we have come up with a solution. And we decided we wanted to create a course. And the name of this course is going to be called Life-Changing Home Design. It is what my mom and I both have experienced in our own homes. It's what we've seen in other people's homes that we've been able to help personally with their spaces. And we truly know that if you guys take this course, you are going to experience the life-changing power that interior design has. I know that's a bold statement, but truly we believe that. So if you've never taken a course or you aren't really sure what this is, kind of think of it as like going to a class. So my mom and I are the instructors. It's a video course where you can watch each lesson and go through that with us. We have a workbook. It's kind of like your lecture notes that you're gonna go through. And it's gonna teach you how to start from creating your design plan, how to figure out your design style, working through this process one-on-one -on -one with us through this video course. Okay, so how is the course different from the design sessions? If the course is like a class, the design sessions is kind of like a library where you have a library card to access books, design session episodes about certain topics that are gonna apply to the class that you're taking. And it's really everything you're gonna need to learn about interior design, to transform your own home, 
and to start to see differences and get you moving forward. We want to be there for you and we wanna walk you through this process and help you figure those things out. We have never done this before. We have never shared our process in such an in-depth and personal way online before. And so because this is the first time we've done this, when you guys enroll in this course, we wanna make sure that the experience you have is amazing. We wanna make sure that you have the support that you need and, and to ensure that that's how it works and that's how it goes, we are gonna be limiting the amount of students that we allow into this first enrollment period. So if this is something that is super exciting to you and that you're really interested in, I highly recommend you guys click the link below. It will take you to our early bird waitlist page where you can put in your email address and you'll be on the first list to get the early access link to sign up and join the course. Also, we're gonna be launching a free six part video series where we're gonna explain our process, explain what's in the course, go through all the details and answer all your questions. And if you're on that email list, that's where we're sending those videos. So it's not gonna be here on YouTube, it's gonna be on that email list. So if you do wanna know more about the course and all the things that are gonna go on within it, make sure you sign up for that list and be a part of the early bird group. My mom and I both are so excited. We've been working on this since like, right after Sawyer was born, we started working on this course and literally pouring in all of our energy and efforts because we truly believe that it's gonna be so impactful for you guys. It's gonna be one of the best things we've ever done. So, now that you know all about that, be sure to click the link, sign up for the early bird waitlist, and let's finally get into this video where we reveal the entryway, the beautiful staircase of this magnificent home that we love so much. Hello, welcome to our brand new entryway. You guys, how much better does it look? Isn't it just like the most amazing transformation? As you look at the old photos of this space, when we first moved in, it was very dark, it was very cave-like, and just not the vibe we were going for in this space. And wow, what a difference paint can make. I've said that for years, but I truly believe paint can like absolutely transform a room, and it's not an expensive upgrade comparatively to other things that you would maybe think of doing in a space. So we really wanted to honor the history of this house. We clearly love the trim work and all of the details of this first room. Something that we really wanted to make sure we found was an actual professional painting company that came in. They not only prepped the wood, they repaired so much of the wood. A lot of this wood had cracked and separated and you couldn't really tell when it was dark, but as soon as they put a primer on it, you could see all of the imperfections. I also was super curious to know, would the handrail, like the original wood, would it be a great color? So I asked them to sand the handrail down by hand, which was quite the ordeal. I think they were a little perturbed when I had that request because look at all the detail here in this trim work on the railing here. I mean, it's they did the centerpiece, they did the stair rail all the way up. We did a matte finish, so it is sealed and won't get fingerprints and oils and things like that on it. We did paint the spindles, or everyone, there's like a controversy of how you say that. Spindles versus, what's the other way people say it? Spindles? Maybe I'm the only one that says spindles. Spindles just sounds more fun. The spindles painted white. The trim work all the way up, we painted white. And the walls, sometimes you can't tell in this particular angle, the wall color is different than the trim color. Okay, so I know everyone wants to know, what is the color that we selected for these two different colors? Are you ready? Here we go. The walls are Gray Mist by Benjamin Moore in a matte finish. And the trim is called Cloud White, and that's by Benjamin Moore as well. The ceiling color, we actually did Gray Mist, but we did it at 50% opacity, opacity. You can actually, I don't know if you guys know this, you can go to a paint store and say, hey, I want that color at 50% and it'll be a lighter version of that color. If you pick a whole different white, sometimes it can compete with it and look weird. So we stuck with the same color as the walls, we just did a lighter version of it. And that also was in the matte finish as well. And we did a satin finish on the trim. You guys can tell we have this amazing chandelier in the entryway, they're original to the house. We did not replace that because we thought it brought so much character. So we have one here in the entry, one in the dining room. One right there on the wall and then up in the second story, there's a beautiful crystal chandelier. I just think it adds like, it's like the perfect jewelry to this space, which I love. And I love the decal, the ceiling decal. It's like, oh, it's beautiful. 
Okay, the other thing we did in here was we put in canned lighting. Again, this was a very dark area, so no matter what you painted it, it brightened it up, but it wouldn't add more natural light or more artificial light. So we wanted to make sure that we brought in some light since we added to the other rooms, and we put four LED recessed lights up in the ceiling. I'm gonna link the ones that I have here because they're amazing. They're like this thin, so if you're looking to put recessed lights into your ceilings, you don't have to get the giant cans anymore. Back in the day, LED was like really blue and gross. Nowadays, they can make LED look really incandescent and beautiful, and I think they're really good for your energy bill. Okay, and then one of the final touches. I'm gonna show you down here. Before I take you upstairs, I will take you upstairs to see the wonderful atrium experience. It's over here, so come on. So this chair, which is that boucle fabric that I've been loving lately, it's literally the perfect size. I think it looks so great when you first walk in. Underneath this little faux plant I have here, I have this really beautiful concrete top side table and the wood legs. This could be an outdoor table. I'm using as an indoor side table because I think it's a great color palette for me. A lot of our furniture is from Article. They're great quality. They have beautiful modern and Scandinavian designs, mid-century designs. They ship to the United States. They ship to Canada. They do a flat rate of $49 shipping fee for the furniture that you order. If you spend over $9.99, it is free shipping. So that's a great perk. The mirror over here is a beautiful anthropomorphic Anthropology mirror. What I love about this mirror and the placement of it is it reflects this beautiful side of the staircase. You don't see this side of the staircase when you're walking from that direction. Only when you're leaving the living room do you see it. So I love that this is a reflection off of this beautiful handiwork and like art that is on our staircase over here. And then the, the mirror itself is so traditional. Like a lot of the stuff in our house is very Scandinavian, mid-century, modern style. And this mirror really brings in that traditional element and it's a great way to kind of mix and match styles. We talk about that a lot. How do you mix multiple styles? Well, bringing in accessory pieces that sprinkle in some of your secondary favorite style is a great way to mix in that other element without feeling like they're contrasting. I foresee us taking so many family photos in front of the staircase or this mirror as Sawyer grows up, as more kids come into our family. I think this will be like our spot to kind of have reference to as our family grows, which I think is so cute and special. And then behind you guys, I have two little tables that are on either side of the front door. That started really because Scout scratched the hound dog out of our... <laughs> wall over there before we had tables there she would jump up to look out the window we put these tables in front because she jumps on the table now and not on the wall so that's a great tip if you have dogs we have a little mail hole on the left of the door that's totally a tulsa or an oklahoma or like a southern thing we never had an actual like slot into our house from mail which i actually love it scared the crap out of me the first like three months still kind of does actually oh my gosh the the mailman comes to the door and puts the mail through the slot here. A little terrifying, I thought someone was breaking in. It's just mail. So we have a table that catches it and I think it looks really cute. Kind of just like adds some symmetry to this beautiful entryway. All right, you guys wanna see the upstairs and experience the walk on up? Okay, now up this staircase, you guys can see how beautiful this trim is. We have like a wainscoting that goes around the entire entryway and then walkway up here into this upstairs level. I mean, just take a look at the detail here of this U-shaped detail of the trim and the handrail. They don't make stuff like this anymore. It's just so special and so unique. We have this beautiful window right behind you guys and it does let in a lot of light for up here. It doesn't make its way downstairs, unfortunately, which is why we added those uh, recess lights. You guys remember the shades that we got downstairs? We're getting one for this big window because it is gonna keep out a lot of heat. We do get a lot of sun here and it makes the upstairs a little bit hotter. I think that might be why the AC doesn't work as well. So I think we found a solution. The chandelier in here looks so great with this white color. We did leave kind of like a nod to the previous wood tone in here by leaving the doors up here all dark. We painted the doors downstairs to be all white. I just love the movement in the wood of these doors and I wanted to keep the original wood color up here. And if I ever feel like I don't wanna have that anymore, we can paint them white, but you can't really undo white. So we left them the original color and I actually love it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed 
our little video today. Honestly, this is my favorite view. Sawyer loves it too, if you can hear him in his room playing. I'm just really excited about this space. This was like the transformation of the house that I was the most excited about. A lot of you were super stoked about the white paint and some of you were really skeptical. So I'm curious to know, how do you think it turned out? Do you like it? Do you see the vision? Do you love the, the end results? Or are you still team dark and wish I didn't paint it? Honestly, you can tell me. Clearly, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, but I also love hearing from you guys, seeing all the different opinions and that's what makes the world go round, right? Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to sign up for the course if you're interested for the early bird waitlist. And I'll see you guys next time. I love you all. Thank you, bye-bye.